What is up, guys? Today, I'm going to attempt to fix the car again. Now, it's a little wonky. Everything's still everywhere. But um, I've added a fuel lab adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Um, I hooked my fuel pump up to the CCRM in hopes that it's going to fix that, which it didn't. Um, but I'm also learning that the fuel pressure that I thought was right is wrong. And also over here, I thought this didn't matter. So I bought a fitting that hopefully fits this, will connect to this and go into there because this is a mass airflow car. So it already has metered air. So I need to fix that and hopefully get the damn thing idling. So, Let's start. All right, so this piece hopefully is gonna fit. It looks like it's not going to, but, oh, oh, it's gonna be tight. It fits, but it doesn't. Shit. Now I gotta figure out a way to make this fit. I mean, it was only $2, so if it doesn't fit, whatever, I don't care. Um, I can go to Lowe's probably and figure something out. I have an idea, electrical tape. Even though that's just going to, melt but that's okay don't even know if I have electrical tape I know I have some somewhere probably man do I really not have any electrical tape come on huh it would make sense it's in my electrical drawer all right so I wrap some electrical tape around it. I'll try that I have the correct fitting well I don't have it I ordered it come on fit I think I made it too thick <laughs> All right, got it in now. So this is probably gonna have to be cut because that barely, barely fits. And yes, the garage is an absolute mess because of me. I was gonna film the other day, but I had such a bad time trying to make this work and I just didn't. It was not good. I was not happy camper. It was just absolutely terrible. All right, yeah, so like I said, the fuel pump is back in the CCRM module, so it's back kind of, not really on its correct, what do you call it, it's not really the correct way it should be on the circuit, but it's close enough, I guess, if that makes any sense. Um, I should have it further back in the car where it comes out of the um, keyless entry module, but I don't, so I don't know if that's causing a problem or not, but. I still have the starter on a switch and the fans on a switch. So I did that. So I guess I'll see if that makes any type of a difference. I don't know what my fuel pressure is set to though. That is a problem too. I'll just leave it how it is for right now. I'm gonna start the car, see if it has any type of a difference. Oh, and uh, I have mufflers on it this time. So it's not super loud. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'll check fuel pressure. Well, that's, that's it. Can't really get any lower than that, I guess, huh? I have no idea. I have no freaking idea. All right, so now I just wanna see what kind of fuel trims I have and stuff. Cause I had negative 19 at idle and that's bad. Very bad, very, very rich for some reason. And I don't know if it's the mass airflow causing it. It seems like it is, but it literally tests fine. So I don't understand, but Let's see. The thing is like nothing is coding for anything other than like the fuel pump, which 
it, I, I imagine it would code for it, it's not there. But everything else is just like EGR, but like none of that exists. It's really upsetting me. <laughs> I don't know what else to do with this thing. There's not anything else to do. The fuel pressure's still too high, but I can't literally get it any lower. Well, bank one is really, really negative for fuel trims. But the other one isn't. So what is going on here? The only stuff that's not working, it's just emissions related stuff. So I don't understand why the engine would not run for that. I need to check the mass airflow sensor. Brand new throttle position sensor, brand new idle air control valve, brand new oxygen sensors. It has a brand new camshaft position sensor. The crank sensor I know is good. A brand new PCV valve. The PCV system is hooked up and working now. I put my old upper plenum and throttle body back on. The only thing I don't know is if the fuel pump being where it is, is okay and it's not cutting fuel or something weird. The fuel pressure doesn't drop, so it's not cutting fuel. When I know it's not cutting spark. We tested it in line. Spark literally keeps going until it stalls. All right, I gotta check the mass airflow sensor somehow. Check the grams per second. Okay, I found some more stuff. And I connected more things. And now, maybe, just maybe it'll run, hopefully. All right, let's see what happens. Is there? Oh, okay. I'm gonna try more things now. This thing is now sucking shut again, and it's solid. Like it was just, I didn't touch it, how it was just running. And now it's sucking shut again. I don't think that PCV valve fucking works, dude. So that shouldn't suck shut now. <laughs> There's nothing there to stop it. I, the alternator, I think, officially killed itself. The light keeps coming on, and then I uh, unplug the fuse, put it back in, and it goes back out, and then comes back on. It's idling, though. <laughs> but it's idling at 1,100. Fuel pressure was right there at 40-ish. It appears it runs now. <laughs> Weird. I have no idea why it now runs, but it runs. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is uh, let it cool down a little bit. It's a little warm. That's taking a toll on its starting, so I'll let her cool and uh, come back when it cools down a little bit. So apparently removing the PCV valve out of the system is what allows this thing to run now. So I, I think it cooled down a little bit, so I want to see if it starts back up. Let's see if it still stumbles at the start up.
She's good, baby. Well, I have no idea why the PCV valve would be the cause, but it is. <laughs> so I have to do a uh, catch can setup, I believe now. So it runs, it idles. The next step is to get everything put together correctly and um, get it drivable, meaning brake lines, uh, other stuff like that. So I could drive it around, test it out, and uh, yeah, see if she works under load. <laughs> But goddamn, does this sound sick. I need to get this thing mounted somewhere around here. Um, obviously, this and this and this, they won't, that stuff won't be there because that's just for right now for testing purposes. So everything in here, all that over there, that's all the harness for the 5.0. Obviously, here's my harness and shit. All this stuff needs to get taken out put in its proper place, get this thing actually tied down, it's loose right now. All the fuel lines and stuff, they all have to get put in their correct spots and grommets and all that other kind of stuff just to be safe and pass tech. So that is it for today, guys. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Thank the Lord. That is it for today, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.